side. It's the first focus down on objectives we're getting. River had just taken that Rift Herald over top, and Team Liquid's response is to collapse upon this dragon to get the first of the game. Yep. And so far, checking on the stack 65 Stardust there for And uh, behind him, and now Licorice could be in trouble. Over the wall, through the jungle, upon Licorice, they go flash away, but a flash response. First blood for Team Liquid. And finally, TL gets something on that top side. And a lot that can happen right now in the game as we see some of the first team fighting. River trying to swirl his way out of there. A stun onto two from the Timbers. Lock up. Pioshik going down. Golden Guardians trading jungler for jungler as the pursuit still stands. Core JJ eliminated some cues over the wall. LCS in 2016 when 6 was coming in. It doesn't feel like he's been here for that long. And you're like, wait, that was eight years ago. <laughs> Do you feel like that's your kind of graduating class in a way? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, right? It's fun to see someone who came in at a similar time. Uh, you know, back here, and really getting things done. Uh, but Golden Guardians right back out towards that dragon. Gonna try to take the second one. They want to prevent TL from stacking them up, but it's TL actually TPing in with Summit. This TP is looking ambitious gold already uh, from his first strike, which is very, very high. You know, playing in this melee versus melee matchup, Core could be in trouble. Oh, locked on to Core, blasted down. GG finding the pick here across mid. Yeah, nicely done. Core does have way. Slam not connecting, but the damage is good. And another jungler intervention with the cease and desist. Licorice down again. Yeah, Licorice trying to knock down that tower, trying to get a trade on topside. Utilize that gold, about 2,400 gold ahead of his lane counterpart. Which Team Liquid is very happy about when looking at this dragon being up. Golden Guardians in the vicinity, but Team Liquid right on Look the at ground. Summit. Oh, a flash on out for Hui and blasted away. Summit is here to stay. Ultimate comes on through from Harry, and Gory is going for gold. Harry continuing to poke out with the Q. Pioshik on top of one for the first kill of this fight, or the second, rather, as Gory goes down. Summit wanting to lead the charge for the rest of Team Liquid. On to Licorice they go. Another knockup. River cannot help the rest of the squad. Three eliminated for Golden Guardians. Rest on the retreat, and Team Liquid to try and make their entrance. The ward over in the favor, going with the tippers and trying to get the lock for JJ into the back line with the quickness and even with Vi with the ultimate, tries to find the target. Licorice isolated off against Summit alongside Huhi, but Team Liquid, they're going after the carries. They're going after the ones that are most important in this fight. They take down the jungler. They take down the biggest damage threats. So it's just Licorice and just the dragon with the... Very likely going to be the end of the win streak here for Golden Guardian, sitting at seven straight wins coming into this weekend here. They are now up against it 25 minutes in. It is nearly a 9,000 gold. It's difficult to refocus up and Team Liquid for sure have the confidence after that play, knowing that this comp, when you've got this a soul coming online and the way Harry has been able to affect Liquid before GG could really make oh. a play, look at the cues. Just nice and charged <laughs> up and immediately sending the jungler back over into the fountain. Yeah, I mean, when you get ahead as this poke Varus, you have so much Hello. lethality, you're ahead of the pace of the game. You've got 46 armor bent right now, which is very, very difficult to deal with for some of these squishy targets. You know, Ash has 68 armor, right? Like you're, you're dealing, nice attempt on the arrow there from who he had a pretty good angle, but uh oh. River, Dunzo, Golden Guardians, when they saw all of Team Liquid, except for Harry at the time, pushing in by Team Liquid, the attempt onto Jan from Licorice, who has to flash out with Grandmaster already activated here. Core JJ in response, wants to use the engage tools. We love to see Core JJ does go down, but that's with two eliminated from Golden Guardians here to make their last stand across this mid inhibitor. That will just be a Team Liquid's for the taking. They're feeling so good about the way they can collapse down, use all of their ultimates to create this pressure and leave GG with very many. Very the, the constant cues coming out from the Varus, uh, non stop poke coming out from this Gragas as well. And when Gory's not even having his flash available, it's very difficult for the Annie to ever even get her way in that fight. You're outranged pretty heavily by most of the gates was Harry, but. This game, they put all their eggs in the Summit basket. They're playing a different style of bot lane. They're playing very heavily poke focused. Uh, they get counter pick for Summit, and you just camp for him, right? And they put him in a spot where he is playing from so far ahead that it's difficult for their opponents to catch up. 
Fairy does get pretty chomped, but finds the escape. And now poor JJ hits the go button, answered by a stopwatch by River, but it just prolongs the inevitable Team Liquid. They see GG try to keep them off, but they keep on going. Licorice, the next one to go into stasis before popping right back up into a lot of damage. Can Glory come in for some assistance to try and connect with the stun on oh. multiple? But it's just Harry here trying to make groundwork of Golden Guardians. Golden Guardians, though, now down three. Glory and Stixay on the retreat. No bodies between <laughs> these carries and the rest of the squad. Team Liquid out on top in the fight again. On to the Nexus turrets. They descend and bring a victory, ending the streak of Golden Guardians.